Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Minnesota Twins game review. I know this is a little late. Let me explain myself very quickly. So, of course, uh, I told you guys a little while ago that college game day is in Lincoln this weekend. So, I decided I was going to go. I camped out all Friday night and got into the pit for college game day on Saturday. Then I came home and slept for a couple hours. So, that's why um, the video is so late. But I know you guys don't really care about that. Just thought I'd let you know. Let's talk about this game. The Twins win 6-2 in seven innings. That's right, we're playing Little League style today. Seven innings. Uh, we got the 6-2 win. We had 11 hits. They had six. There's just bad weather in Kansas City all weekend. Uh, so that's why they cut this game short. They moved today's game up to 1 o'clock, which I still won't get to watch because I have to work again, but that's okay. Uh, but, hey, the most important thing about this game there's a couple important things though the twins have a hundred wins on the season that is fantastic i think i i'm a little tired now i probably i might say a lot of wrong stuff in this video but if i'm not mistaken that is the second time in franchise history that we've hit 100 wins and we are two away from the franchise record that is incredible i mean this team is very very special uh, it was interesting. I think it was Roy Smalley in the booth um, for the last game of the Detroit game. And he said, you know, a team, every team in baseball, with the exception of Detroit this year, pretty much, um, every team in baseball is going to win 60 games. Every team is going to lose 60 games. It's what you do with the other 100 that matter, right? The Twins have only lost 60 games. And realistically, I've talked to you guys about this before. I think we could have been a lot better. I think Baldelli, you know, made some rookie mistakes. I hope he learns from them going forward in the postseason as well as next year. But definitely has made some mistakes. And we are still 160. Ladies and gentlemen, that is incredible. That is absolutely incredible what Baldelli has been able to do with this team. Even though I don't agree with everything that he's been doing, players have really stepped up. I mean, it was just, it's incredible to watch this team. It really is. Uh, and we get to beat up on Kansas City again on the road. You know, last year at this point, Kansas City, I, I think, Zach, I think you're the one who told me this, um, if you're watching this. I think at the beginning of the year, might have been the first series of the year, you said that Kansas City had beaten us a lot last year. I mean, we were not a great team last year. We didn't finish above 500, but we only won two games in Kansas City. By the end of the first road trip, we had already tied that. So, that's good. And then we just keep piling it on. Of course, Kansas City, not a very good ball team. They've got some good players, but not a very good ball club. That is just really good to be able to beat up on them. I know they play us tough every time, but that is really, really good what we were able to do there. So, that's just the overview. Let's jump into pitching. Guess what? We only had to use one pitcher and that was probably going to be it for Barrios anyways. Uh, he threw 99 pitches, but went all six innings. And um, had gave up six hits, two hits, uh, six hits, two runs, uh, nine strikeouts, and two walks. Now, that's a very good outing by Barrios. Um, that is the kind of outing that uh, we need to see in the playoffs. I mean, it's straightforward, simple as that. At the beginning of August, he really struggled. I mean, he went on a skid that is bad. I mean, he lost like four in a row. He was hardly throwing 92. His breaking ball was just hanging over the plate or just missing wildly. This is the Barrios that we need to see. I didn't even need to watch the game to tell you he did a good job in this game. But I mean, go back now two or three consecutive starts, and you can see where he has been dominant, throwing six or seven innings, getting, you know, two to three runs right giving the team a chance and racking up those strikeouts keeping those walks to a minimum that is fantastic I mean that is what you want out of your starting pitcher right because they're well I mean I'm sure they had just a bullpen day but uh Sc what, Sc Scogland is that how you say his name I don't know if they were trying for the opener or not but that's all he did because he went three innings six runs on nine hits Gave up two home runs. We'll talk about those in a second here. Only struck out two. Not a good day for uh, Kansas City pitching. But uh, Barrios really stepped it up. And that is his last start this year, of course, with only two games left. That is his last start this year. Give him some rest now. Um, 
until next week. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about, right? Just a little bit. Um, since we're in the ALDS, right? He's got a week off. I I don't know like if that's a problem. I really don't think it would be a problem. But he pitched Friday. It, he's going to be our game one starter, I would imagine. I, I don't think Baldelli has officially come out and say it yet. But we all know that he's our ace. He's probably going to be our starter. And we, he pitched Friday, um, the 27th. He's not going to pitch again until October 7th. Now, there's two things you can look at that by. You could either say, okay, that's really good. He's getting a lot of rest. He should be ready to go. But then is he going to get out of his routine? The other option would be throw like a sim game um, on your fourth or fifth day. But will that throw out your schedule too? Because it's like a week. It's not eight days or nine days. Like um, you would have like a designated start in the middle of that. So I just hope he's okay. I mean, the Yankees are going to be in the same boat. It's not like, you know, we're at a disadvantage here, but that's just something to keep in mind because if they, you know, do have to throw him and he just sucks, maybe it's because he got too much time off. I don't know. That's just a to entirely speculation. But um, I just, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about Barrios uh, going to pitch in the playoffs. Um, you know, I, I don't really know. I think it'll be interesting, uh, especially if he gets game one against the Yankees. So let's talk about this lineup, though. I mean, I don't think Baldelli cares anymore, uh, especially with the lineup you look at today. And then if you look at this lineup, I mean, you have Sano batting leadoff. Do you like him at leadoff, guys? He went two for four. I mean, is this a guy that we we need to see at leadoff? I don't know. But then it was kind of hit and miss with filling in some spots. Cave and right, I mean, that makes sense, but he's on the two spot. Ostadio's catching. Crone it back at first base, uh, still with his injury. Lamar in center, Torres short. I mean, it was just kind of filling in players, playing, you know, who needs to be played and stuff like that. So really good um, by the team, though, because, you know, like I said, we had 11 hits, two home runs. Miguel Sano had one of the home runs. Uh, in fact, I think it was in the first inning, if I'm not mistaken, go to the plays, first inning, single, uh, top of the first. So it was not it was not the top of the first inning. But single by Sano, walk by Cave, single by Cruz, we're up one to nothing. Single by Rosario, we're up two to nothing. Three consecutive hits. We actually got four right there. That's really good. Second inning, scope, hits a double. Two outs, two outs later, home run by Miguel Sano. So it was in the second inning. There you go. We led four to one. Got a couple more singles in there as well, but took the lead four to one. They did answer back in the bottom of the first, but who really cares? Because then we answered again in the third. We had two more uh, when Crone singled, and then with two outs again, Ryan Lamar hit a two run homer, uh, his second of the season. Good for him. Like I said, this I said it in, a, in previous videos. I'm like, this guy, he was okay last year. But he has stepped it up this year. He won't make the playoffs, but uh, he's definitely got some ability, I think, that we can use. He stole a base as well in this game. There's definitely options that we have with him. I don't think he'll ever play on the team, but he could be a solid backup. Um, I don't know. Maybe what, what do you guys think about him? I just I don't know if he fits with our team, but he's definitely a solid player that is used off the bench. I wouldn't say he's more like an Adrianza kind of player, but he is right i mean maybe i'm maybe is that a stretch um he play he kind of has the same play style as him um he's quick he is you know aware of things he's got a little pop i don't know it just kind of reminds me of adrian's but that was huge i mean that was huge put us up six to two or six to one at that point they got another run but who cares and then the game was over the game was shortened so um that, i mean that's good for barrios good for the bullpen good for the hitting um just Take it easy in this game. Uh, but yes, yeah, Sano, two for four with two RBIs, two runs on his home run. Cave went one for two with two walks and a run. Cruz is now batting 309 with a 1022 OPS. Are you kidding me? After he went three for four again with an RBI. Absolutely insane what this guy can do. I mean, I really hope. If we win the World Series, I would understand if he wants to hang it up. But other than that, he's having his best season ever. He needs to be back with the Twins next year. Rosario, one for four with an RBI. Uh, Ostadio, the only... Oh, just kidding. Therese didn't get a hit either. But Ostadio, 0 for four then. Uh, Crone, one for four with a run. Scope, one for three. Lamar, two for three with his home run, two RBIs and a run. And Therese, 0 for three, but did score a run. So, I mean, almost everybody was productive on this on this team today. Um, it was just a fantastic game to watch. I mean, I didn't get to watch it, but, like, looking at the box score, 
I can only imagine. So it only it, the only negative thing I guess you could say is Texas was throwing um, literally underhand BP uh, to the Yankees. They're two home runs ahead of us. I don't know if we'll be able to pass them now. Um, that really sucks that they're just handing them home runs left and right. I think what they hit like six yesterday or something, five. So they're two ahead of us. But you know what? What can you do? We hit 300 first, so I guess we could say that. But we did get the win against Kansas City. Looking for the sweep. Looking for a game two today. Um, just try to get to that 102 win mark. That'd be really cool. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to stick around for the videos uh, coming today and tomorrow. We'll see you next time.